So it's all beautiful, brand new day, brand new now, depending on wherever you're watching me from. My name is Jimmy Ralph. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and always stay connected for on time, bro. So we are almost getting to the end of the year 2023, and all the digital streaming stores are still coming out with your end of year recap. The likes of the Spotify, I've done it. Uh, Apple Music has done it, YouTube, Google, everybody has done it, and we still have more to come, yeah? And according to Top Chats, um, Rima has been announced as the most streamed Afrobeat artist of the year 2023. And his album, R&R, &R, is now the top album of 2023. Yeah, Charlie, that was a very great one, bro. Congratulations to Rima. And I've always told you that, 2023 has been the greatest year for people like Rima. I think the only thing he couldn't achieve was the fact that he wasn't nominated at the Grammys. And that really hurt me. Yeah, because he had the biggest Afrobeat song. He had the biggest album. Like, man, I was really taking a look. He filled the O2 arena. He, like, he went to India, made a very huge history. Yeah, that, that's all we are talking about. Like me, personally, I love to see people move. Like, move to the top i love to see the victories of people in as much as when you say something when you do something and you need to be told i need to tell you the truth i'll go straight forward to tell you the truth but it doesn't take away the fact that when you are doing something good and we are supposed to you know proclaim it to the world we will do it bro we will do it we, we will make sure the world here of what you're doing and that's a very great thing congratulations to uh rima yeah, the likes of Rema Davido, I think Rema Kiss Daniels, um, O'Malley, Davido, yeah, they've really done something great, bro. They have really done something great. Their albums were, their albums were successful. Their albums were successful, and it's a very good thing. You know, at the moment, the Nigerians are doing everything, and I feel like, uh, okay, let's go check out uh, what I, exactly what I saw on our... Uh, their websites and come back yeah fun time bro Remus r and r album is afrobeat most dreamed 2023 afrobeat singer rima has achieved the title of the most dreamed afrobeat artist of 2023 his album reef and roses ultra has surpassed a remarkable 3.84 billion streams since it released on april 28 according to top chart africa the outstanding feat not only solidifies Rima's position in the music industry but also places his album in the prestigious category of gold certification in the United States. The album now shares the distinction with Whiskey's made in Lagos, making them the only Afrobeat project to attain such recognition. Other notable contenders in the streaming arena include Kiss Daniels Maverick securing second place with 1.59 billion streams, Omalay's Boy Alone Deluxe closely following with 1.38 billion streams and Davido's Timeless Amazon 1.13 billion streams. As the Afrobeat landscape continues to flourish, Rima's success set a high standard showcasing the global appeal and dominance of Nigerian music on the international stage yeah so congratulations congratulations to all the people that were mentioned on the top and you know one interesting thing is about the fact that they are making the billions yeah rima making three point over three point eight billion streams uh ashaki making like i mean Asha, oh, Malay and these people making all the bigger streams they were making the biggest streams and that's a very great thing bro now nigeria like i've been telling you nigeria is not the center of attention of african entertainment when you come to africa yeah when it comes to africa nigeria is the center of attention when it comes to entertainment and i feel like you know for you to hate nigeria if you are in from any other part of africa and like for you to see nigeria as a threat or something i think you rather have to join join them you rather have to join them because i've really seen something about nigeria that at the moment if you want to you know get the recognition around the world if you want to get the biggest recognition you should attach yourself to the nigerians instead of you to be you know sitting somewhere and be you know talking too much i feel like you should try your best to you know associate yourself with them because all the biggest musicians that are really making it big in ghana at the moment 2023 have attached themselves to nigeria and they are really going far bro now i see nigeria to be like let's say the united states of america 
yeah when you go to the united states of america right now we have a lot of musicians who are really doing great that are not from the country they are from outside but they've seen that america is the market so we should try very hard to associate ourselves with the americans now we have a whole lot of biggest musicians in america who are not from america Nicki Minaj is not a, from the United States of America. Uh, I mean, Drake is not from the United States. Celine Dion is not from the United States. Justin Bieber is not from the United States. We have uh, Jamaicans who are based in America. The likes of, you know, Canadians based in America because they see America to be the, the ish. They see America to be the center of attention. They see America to be the place that when you associate yourself with them, you will, you know, easily get recognized you will get all the grammys the you know all the biggest thing you need to achieve i think i uh, in america when it comes to making huge money is in america when it comes to getting all the streams around the world is in america and all those things so you need to associate yourself with them that's how i see nigeria at the moment libyanka associated herself with nigeria and got the biggest song in cameroon the biggest song ever in Cameroon, one of the biggest songs in Africa. Because the song has done more than billions, right? Kamido did the same. Associated himself with the uh, Nigerians. And I feel like, yeah, he, he I, I know he traveled around the world, like he traveled around the world to promote his uh, Sugar King song. But it became big as a result of the fact that people even thought he was a Nigerian. Jackie became big. As a result of you know that perception that she is a Nigerian, Kim Promise. People think he is a Nigerian, even though like he's a Ghanaian. But the song is big in Nigeria. Yeah, recently when uh, during the last chat uh, during the distant the Google most uh, searched uh, song in Nigeria, Kim Promise was, was on the fifth position. Yet still, people will sit back in their country and go like uh, they don't like us. They don't like us. They don't do what and what. Jackie had her number one stream. You know, the country leading her stream was Nigeria. So I see Nigeria to be that country. And also, apart from the fact that they are striving hard, they have the numbers. Apart from the fact that they are striving hard in the industry, they have the numbers and producing quality songs. I mean, what I how should I say? Like songs that are easily relatable yesterday i was walking i was going to buy food to eat last night and uh on the streets some people were celebrating and almost all the songs i was hearing yeah i could hear ghanaian songs and you know uh nigerian songs they were played together both ghana and nigerian songs the likes of uh when it comes to ghana we have a lot of danceable tunes here that were played there and i realized that you know most ghanaians i've been saying this thing most ghanaians are uh, the reason why the DJs don't play our songs is because we don't do danceable related songs enough. Yeah, I know we have them, we have a lot of them, but the Nigerians, almost all the, their biggest songs are danceable related. Look at all the songs that are traveling far. They are all danceable related. I'm on available. They were dancing, I'm on available outside, just right beside my house. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm on available, Kiss Daniels, uh, Odeyewu, and uh, when you come to Ghana, the likes of a lot of songs, uh, last minute songs were played, and even the Ghanaian songs that were played are danceable related, uh, party related songs. They were celebrating on the street because someone won an election, yeah, the assembly election, so they were jamming. And like, I could see that okay, wow, why don't we make uh, songs that are look, Nigerians have seen that Ama Piano is thriving, so they've decided to associate themselves with the Ama Piano. They don't really care what, where the Ama Piano is coming from, as far as it's going to make them big. They are associating themselves with South African about piano and it's working for them. But in Ghana, people go like, nah, I'm not an I'm not a Nigerian, so I will not go, I'll not do Afrobeat or I will not be doing reggae because it's not Ghanaian. Look, the world has now become a global village. The world has almost become like one country. It doesn't matter where you are coming from. Like we are almost we kind of have some misculture, um, miscultures and all those things. It's too late to start claiming your own culture. It's too late. It's already too late to start claiming your own culture. Look, it's about time we try associating ourselves to foreign cultures and, you know, engage them and, you know, try to sell ourselves out there. We can't, you can't sell your, your culture to someone with even your local dialect. There's, it won't happen. You have to sell your culture to someone with a language they can understand. 
and here i'm talking about language barrier now go to nigeria almost all the biggest songs when you go to south africa they have a lot of jamming song hit songs but they are not able to penetrate into ghana and Ni uh, ghana especially ghana is because we don't understand what they are saying look at the only songs that became the last time a song became really big in ghana that was in a foreign language i mean south african language was jerusalem that became very big apart from then i think corner 2 became very big uh, 10 years ago but look at what is the silent song yeah it's mixed with english charlie english and we can relate to it you understand almost all the biggest song in africa that we can relate to are english in english look at uh uh flavor now but yeah, yeah flavor 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 when was the last time Ghanaians even played fl flavor song in ghana we don't play it because we don't understand what he is saying. But look at the songs, the Ghanaian songs that are big in Nigeria. They play it because, yeah, they can relate to it. Terminator, they can sing along, they can do everything along with it. Uh, Black Sheriff dropped his song, uh, Second Sermon. Second Sermon was really, really big. It was very big. But when he dropped Kwaku the Traveler, it became bigger than Second Sermon because Second Sermon was highly dominated with the three language. You understand? It was highly dominated with the tree language and those kind of things. But Kwaku the Traveler was dominated by the English language, so they could sing along. Especially, of course, I earthed up like that place. People really could relate to it. People really got to, you know, they can relate to it. So they like it was very. They could sing along. You understand? So they, I mean, that we should do danceable tunes. You know, the language barrier too. We should really take notice of that. And also money, we should punch in money, bro. We should punch in money. Yeah, because if you are able to do all of these things and without money, you still not go far. So we should punch in money and also make sure that we associate ourselves with the Nigerian music industry, the South African music industry, because they are the ones doing the biggest, especially in Nigeria. They are the ones doing it great. So Charlie, kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and always stay connected. Congratulations to Rayma. Fun time, bro. I'll be back. Oh, no. Jimmy Ross. Flat against with a play on the street with a dude thing shoe can't imagine. But boys never play with a high grade. But boys never give up on streets. Depression killer we as we keep grinding, chasing the mullah. You don't see how when I ice take danger. Never drive my hustle with the bad mind. Let me say I was my street boy, I be good boy, turn bad. Never turn your back on me if you see me in danger. This is the reality, but nobody say I get a choice. Kind of life, you know, but say we have a choice.